In 2014, I was sitting in a psychologist's office being offered strong antipsychotics. Despite my objections, I was told this was my best option available and handed over my diagnostic code, F30.2. I didn't feel seen or heard. I felt like a data point and I kept wondering, had I performed my story wrong? On average, you have 11 seconds to convey your condition to a GP before you're likely to be interrupted, and we often struggle to put our feelings into words. 43% of the population live with some form of chronic pain. This affects people's mental health, their relationships, their work, and really impacts people's lives on a monumental level. To provide appropriate treatment, healthcare professionals rely on standardised quantitative assessments that essentially ask you to rate your scale of pain from 1 to 10. These assessments have been largely unchanged since the 70s and limit people's ability to express the unique and complex interplay of pain and emotional experience. According to Harvard Medical School, miscommunication is one of the most significant medical errors. But how can you show, not tell, how you're feeling? And how can you make these invisible, embodied experiences visible? Hatsumi is a novel new approach to how we understand and communicate sensory experience. Bridging art, science and technology, we are developing an immersive, creative, participatory tool that is challenging how we communicate and understand pain. Inspired by existing arts and health research body map storytelling, traditionally you would trace around your body on a large piece of paper and go through a reflective and creative process, enabling you to visualise lived experience. By translating body mapping into a virtual reality environment, we can drastically enhance and expand its potential. We've created a private virtual space where audiences can reflect on their own experience using static and animated 3D drawing tools and sound. Throughout our development, we've been working with patients with lived experience of chronic pain in the co-design of our creative tools. We developed the experience on WebVR, which means it can be accessed on any headset with Wi-Fi. We've already tested our early prototype in hospitals and mental health centres to explore if it can improve doctor and patient understanding of pain and improve diagnostic outcomes. We are now preparing to test more pilots in the southeast and southwest of the UK. Excitingly, during our development, we've started to create a neural network which shows early signs of being able to predict people's condition based on their illustration. We're interested in exploring the similarities and differences in how people might visualise their pain and how that could vary on cultural background, location or age and could potentially be used as a diagnostic tool in the future. We've also noticed how people are drawing both in, on and outside the body and this could lead to new discoveries about how people visualise and understand spatial sensory experience. Given the creative outputs of this, we're looking to partner with museums and galleries to both 3D print and projection map illustrations that will come together to create a terracotta army of lived experience. We hope this will contribute to new forms of understanding and empathy about invisible conditions and help people introspect on their own sensory realities. The team behind Hatsumi are a group of artists, scientists, technologists and patients that believe in true cross-disciplinary collaborative research. We are starting by exploring chronic pain because it's such a common and devastating condition and a prime example of that interplay between the brain and the body. However, through my own experience of demonstrating the prototype, I've seen its application reaching far beyond that as well. We've looked at anything from the experience of depression and anxiety to the impact of COVID or even positive experiences like how does it feel falling in love or the experience of making music. Our vision is to partner with cultural health and academic institutions to support us in further developing the research and bringing Hatsumi to physical and digital spaces. We're so excited about the development of Hatsumi as a tool to transform empathy and really help us understand and visualise our hidden inner worlds and continue to push and dissolve the boundaries between art and science.